We are trying Country Coffee's Flights of the Month. We have an avocado and we have the rest as hot drinks. I could have said like they were iced, but I kind of just panicked and went with hot. But honestly, the hot might taste good, honestly, especially before it gets dark. But we are in the Jeep today. I think this is the avocado. The barista put it in here, kind of getting melty. So it's supposed to be cotton candy. Let's see how it tastes. It really just tastes like the ice cream. We have a banana mocha next, which is basically like banana and chocolate. We'll see what we think. It tastes like chocolate milk with like banana flavoring. Pretty good actually. This one we have caramel corn. It's caramel and it's butterscotch. Originally pecan is what would come in it, but I can't have that. So we did butterscotch. I think it's gonna taste good with butterscotch though. Ooh, I like this one a lot. I actually like it better. Next is elephant chai. Let's see what we think. Yeah, their chai is really good here. That's actually really good. Like it has nice flavor. You know, I'm really glad I went with all hot drinks today because I wondered if I would taste like a little bit more of the flavor and I honestly do. Wow, this is going to be a hard ranking because I feel like I'd go back and get these again. Yeah, definitely the off is getting fourth place because I don't even taste cotton candy. I know like cotton candy taste. Like it just tasted like the ice cream and coffee, which like is still pretty good. But I wanted to taste the cotton candy. So that's last. I think I want banana mocha to get third place. We're going to give elephant chai second, but I just feel like the caramel corn would be an easy coffee go to for me. And I love like the butterscotch in it. I know like I kind of had to fix it with my allergy, but I'm obsessed with it. And I think even if I wasn't allergic to pecan or peanuts or nuts whatever probably wouldn't have liked it so caramel corn wins very fall as we're heading into fall